if you do not have a healthy relationship with yourself, with other people, you know, if you're surrounding yourself with unhealthy relationships and you will be the most exhausted, tired, sad creature that has ever walked the planet. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Reagan. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna talk about some real life stuff. Today, I'm gonna be talking about healthy relationships and what those look like and letting go and a little bit about toxic relationships as well and what those look like. Because I recently learned what all of these things are and came up with my own definitions and I would like to share with, with you. The way I see a healthy relationship is, it is an exchange. It's a positive exchange. You are feeding that person and that person is feeding you. Whether they're feeding you intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, that person is feeding you. That person's feeding your soul, that person's feeding your mind, that person is feeding you something. That person is engaging with this. They're engaging with this. They're not engaging with the outside world, and the materials, and oh, let me give you a purse, oh, let me give you a bag, but at the same time, let me treat you like shit. They're feeding who you are as a person. And you can feel that, you know? You really, really can feel that. Like, have you ever had a person in your life where, you know, whenever you leave hanging out with them or spending time with them, you just feel good, you know? That person, whether they realize it or not, it might have just been you guys eating fries in a parking lot, but when you leave, you feel good, you feel happy. That is one way that I really, really can tell that this relationship is going well. I leave feeling good. I feel like I want to do it again. And when I'm with that person, I'm not waiting for, I'm not walking on eggshells or I'm not waiting for them to get angry with me. Or I'm not um, anticipating them to call me out of my name. I really did not realize the power and the importance of relationships in my life until recently. Relationships literally have the power to make any environment feel great or any environment feel crappy. And I'm not just talking about relationships with other people because that comes secondary to your relationship with yourself. When I'm talking about relationships, a healthy relationship, yes, it's important to have healthy relationships with other people, but to have one with yourself. And these relationships that you have literally are the heart of your life, okay? they These people, whether you realize it or not, influence you, okay? they they permeate your mind. Realizing the importance of healthy relationships and realizing what those healthy relationships are made me realize what an unhealthy relationship looks like and when you should probably start letting go of some people and realizing that, you know what, it's okay to let people go. I thought for the longest time that I didn't want to be a quitter. I did not want to be a quitter. I did not want to give up on this person because you know, in 2008, they were just so kind and like so great and so general. No, it is okay to let go of people. It is okay to leave and it is okay to be left. We are not meant to have the same supporting characters in our lives. We change, we evolve, our boundaries change, who we are changes, what we want changes, and it's okay. And it's natural that some people don't follow you throughout your life. The way I think of letting go in relationships is like this, okay? Every relationship has an expiration date, period, okay? Some people are here for the rest of your life, right? Some people are here to be with you and to be a part of your life for freaking ever, as long as you're on this earth. And some people are meant to be here for a certain amount of time, all right? Maybe a month, maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe three years, but they are seasonal. Some people are seasonal and some people are permanent. Now. You will realize, when you realize that a person is seasonal, right? When you realize that you guys are trying to kind of drifting, they don't really have the same values as you do, whatever. If you try to keep seasonal people in your life and try to make them permanent, try to make those connections last, then however long they're supposed to be, it never works. You can't turn a giraffe into a fox. And I have the best analogy for this because I am a big analogy person, right? Let's say you went to the store and you bought some milk and the expiration date is reached. What are you gonna do with the milk? Throw it out, right? Now, let's just, let's just go and try to turn this seasonal purchase into a permanent purchase. Um, let's see how that works out for us, right? So when milk expires, 
Let's say you try to keep it in your fridge because you're like, no, I have to keep this milk, like. Okay, that's not gonna work. Not only will that milk stink, two, if you drink it, you are just going to get sick. And three, it is going to eventually start molding and start getting gross, and then suddenly your whole fridge is gonna be smelling awful. And the things around that milk are not gonna be smelling so hot either. And you'll be thinking to yourself, God, what is that smell? Like, what is in, what, what is going on? And it is that milk. It's the milk, because you didn't throw it out, because you, declared that this milk, that this expiration date that people knew was coming was wrong and you kept it for longer than you needed to and now it's sinking up your whole fridge. That's what happens when you have a seasonal person you try to keep them forever. It doesn't feel good anymore. That person's not serving you. In fact, that person might be reverting you to the high school you or to elementary school you or to whenever you freaking met them. So that is my analogy. We don't cry and we scream, we throw out the milk. And relationships are like that. Some relationships go bad. Some relationships reach their expiration date. And instead of kicking and crying and screaming, buy a new milk. Just because something has an expiration date, just because the milk expired, does not mean that you have to see it in a negative light or hate it or anything like that. Appreciate the person, the season, for what it was. And I think a lot of people, including myself at one point, keep people around because you fear that you won't ever find somebody like them or better than them or you won't find, it. no one new will come along. There's nothing new that come along. You know, people fear that that's the last carton of milk ever, but I assure you it is not. And if you live in fear of you will never find anybody else better or you know, nobody else will come along. If you cut this person out, you'll die alone forever. You will keep around people that don't need to be around and will exhaust you. Another thing that I want to talk about is toxic relationships. The toxic relationships, they drain you. This person, unlike in healthy relationships where you leave that person and you feel better, you leave this relationship, you, feel, you leave this person and you feel deep. Deleted. You feel tired, you feel like you jumped through a million freaking hoops and you just don't feel good. Um, and that's one way to know that this person is toxic for you. They're not feeding you. They're not feeding you at all. In fact, what you are getting, the bad outweighs the good, if there's any good at all. There's nothing really positive that happens with them, really. You're not getting anything. You're stressed out. Maybe you're... Um, Maybe you're stressed out, you're tired, you're confused. There's so much that goes into this person that is just draining you. And just like you feel when that person is positively stimulating you, you will feel when this person is draining the crap out of you. Another thing with toxic relationships is that it permeates the rest of your relationships. You know, think about that milk that you keep in your fridge, right? It starts to affect everything else in the fridge. Have you ever had somebody in your life where you have them around and you're focused on and all this kind of stuff and all your relationships start withering away. Like, think about that, focus on that because toxic relationships really do have a way of affecting, it's toxic, it affects everything else. It makes your work harder, it makes other relationships, you know, harder to navigate. It, it just, it completely rocks freaking everything. Those are my two tips and tricks on toxic relationships I really want to start making I really wanted to make videos that are really about something I don't want to just do videos that are fun I um, that are just about fun stuff and trivial stuff I love that but I also want to talk about life on this channel I want this to be a channel where I talk about things that I'm going through and things that are actually real talks I don't want to just talk about nothing or show you guys what I eat in a day um, I want to give you guys something more because I love channels that stimulate me, that teach me something, and I want my channel to do that. I want my channel to be fun, but I also want it to talk about actual real life stuff that I'm going through. I'm 20 years old, I'm only 20 years old, and I have so much more to learn, and if I can share what I'm learning, I think that's great. I hope you guys have 
great, healthy relationships. I hope you guys have positive people around you. I hope you know that letting people go doesn't make you a bitch or doesn't make you mean. It actually really does help to protect this, to protect this and to protect all of you. You are a gift and if people have you in their life, they lucky. And not everybody, you don't want to give this gift to everybody because not everybody deserves to be in your life. Period, point blank. I hope this helps. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like this video, please, please like it and subscribe. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to everybody that watched my lookbook. Thanks to everybody that's ever watched any of my videos. And I wish you healthy, happy relationships. And if I miss anything, because I'm only 20, and I'm sure I did, please feel free to comment and write things in. And if you want me to make more videos like this or talk about a specific thing, let me know in the comments and I will make sure to film it. I will talk to you later. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And um, peace.